This is an X-Man movie with X-Man, Owen Daniel. His name Daniel is because my son Daniel died. He was born after Daniel died. So they gave him a middle name of Daniel. And St. Owen, there's an icon of him that chose him with an X. So he's X-Man. Doesn't he look like an X-Man to you? He's walking and everything like that. He's a wonderful child. I take care of him every Friday. It's one of the highlights of my week. Psalm 75, 9 says, I think it's 9, the, the Psalter that I have right here. It doesn't have numbers, but I kind of count them out. For the inward thought of man shall give praise unto thee, and the remainder, excuse me, I don't have my glasses, so I have to hold it a far away. For the inward thought of man shall give praise unto thee, and the remainder of his inward thought shall keep a feast to thee. You know what that means? I'll tell you what it means. If you say the Psalter enough, you know what it means. It's like my favorite Psalter verse, which is, A man shall draw nigh, and the heart is deep, and God shall be exalted. You know what that means? That's our purpose. Our purpose is to have God in our heart, and our purpose is to have the inward thought of man giving praise unto God. Why? Because the inward thought of man would be with God. The whole purpose of our existence, of our creation, is so that God would be in our heart and that we would know Him. That's the purpose. Completely. That's the reason. And so the Psalter talks about this inner purpose. So your prayer, all of your prayer, when you say the Trisagion, or when you say the Psalter, or when you go to liturgy, all of it is so that you would have an inward life. That's very, very important. Have an inner life. Look, at he loves the Psalter. I chant to him all kinds of stuff. I chant to him, Christ is risen, the sequence that we do, uh, beginning of services for Pascha and a uh, lot of other things. He's going to learn a ton of things because I'm going to keep singing to him. Of course, he won't really learn the exact melody, but he'll learn the way I sing it, which is as best as I can do. All you can do is do the best that you can do. So this is a beautiful Psalter verse, and it's about your purpose. Your purpose is to have an inward life, an inner life, an inner prayer life. If all you do is say prayers from the prayer book, you're not doing it right. Nope, you're not doing it right. That's a good beginning. Everybody should say prayers from the prayer book for a long, 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 long time. Maybe for all of their life. Everybody should sing the Psalter. Monks sing the Psalter all the time. Or actually chant it, right? Which is a different kind of singing. So you should say the Psalter. If you're not saying the Psalter, you're probably not doing it right either. So you use the prayer book, you say the Psalter, you sing canons, you think, sing Acapus. That's all good. It's all very good. But also... You say the Jesus prayer and you pray as much with your heart as you can. It's not easy to do, but it's critical because that's the whole purpose of your life is to know God, to have God in you, to be united with him so closely that as the scripture says, as the breath of your nostrils, how close is your breath in your nostrils to you? It's right next to you, isn't it? It's inside you. So this is little X man and I'm teaching him these things because there's not enough teaching about Christianity, the real purpose of it. People talk of it in, in legalistic ways. And it's not. There's nothing legalistic about it all. Nothing at all. Is there anything legalistic about my love for this boy? No. Not at all. He doesn't have to do anything for me to love him. I will always love him. And if he gets in trouble, well, you'll hear it from me. But I'll always love him because I have that relationship with him. I'm his papa. So, he's a little out of sorts today because it's rainy and nasty out. We're not going to be able to go on our usual walk. Remember your purpose. Live for your purpose. Develop an inner prayer life. You want to talk to me about it? You do that. Talk to your pastor about it? You do that. If your pastor doesn't know about it, find somebody to talk to about it. God bless you.